Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would give you a comprehensive guide as to how I use Notion as a student. I started using Notion probably around the same time as I started university and it has literally become my favourite productivity app. I use Notion for nearly all aspects of my life. I used to have like a bullet journal for weekly planning, a separate calendar for things that were like further ahead, like an academic planner for my university work, and then like so many pages of notes and like the folders that come with that. Definitely my favourite thing about Notion is the fact that I can just have it all in one and it just makes it look like so good and really aesthetic and I feel like it's one of the most aesthetic parts of my life right now. Maybe the most. Without further ado, I'm going to give you a comprehensive tour of my entire Notion and kind of give you guys a tutorial on how I use it and how I set it up. Because some of the really cool features that I now love, I did struggle at the start and this video is really kindly sponsored by Notion. In case you guys haven't come across Notion before, Notion is this really easy to use online platform. You can have it both as like a website version and a mobile app version. Everything is in one place. So you can use Notion to plan, track, and just do all of your work in the same space. So as a university student, I use Notion in probably like four main aspects of life. I'm just gonna like quickly run through all of them. There are timestamps in the description box below, so feel free to skip to whichever one applies to you or whichever one you're most interested in. Firstly, under the bracket of organization, I'm going to talk about like kind of using Notion as like a general organization tool, also for planning. So both weekly planning and monthly planning. Also in terms of like your studies, so at school or university, I love using Notion as kind of like an academic planner as well. So using it to plan your revision. The cool feature of Notion is being able to use it for note taking. So then it literally means that you can have everything in the same place. And finally, I will talk about how I use Notion in my personal life. New Year's is a really excellent time for this. Um, so I'm going to talk about how I used it to set my goals last year, which actually ended up working out pretty well. So I'm also going to do the same this year. I just wanted to preface this video by saying that Notion is 100% free for students. I have my Surface right here and I'm just going to show you what my Notion looks like right now. So we have monthly planning, weekly planning. This folder is called 2023 because as you can probably guess, I made it at the start of this year, but I will probably change it to something like New Year's resolutions or something like that. And then we have maths notes because in case you guys don't know, I'm currently in final year studying maths and stats at Oxford. Folder called maths and stats probably is not a great name. I'm gonna change this to exam revision um, for part A, which was what the papers that I did last year in second year. And then we have a few miscellaneous things at the end. Starting with like the organizational things. I used to be like so good at like writing things down, but I've not been like kind of bad basically ever since I've gone into third year, so the start of this academic year. I feel like I can store everything in my head, which I have a track record of being pretty good at, but recently there's just been like too many things I need to do. I'm gonna really try and do better at weekly planning. This was for Hillary term 2023, the second term of second year. And as you can see, I was very good at weekly planning then. As you can see, I had a little notebook for this weekly planning section. And then if we add a cover, I do love that color, but we could also go into Unsplash and just like find something that kind of suits the theme a bit more. If we're looking at like to-do lists, then we could write to-do list. And then we have some like really aesthetic to-do list photos. Like I just love this one. I'm gonna do this one. Looking at week one, for example, this was like my full weekly plan for week one. It looks like Chinese New Year was around here because I went home. So I think I took a day off on Sunday and by the looks of Saturday's to-do list, probably a day off on Saturday as well. The way I make my to-do list is if, for example, let's pretend that we weren't taking a day off on Sunday and we wanted to plan Sunday. So we would just change this to Sunday and then whatever the date Sunday was. My favorite because we're doing a weekly plan is the to-do list section. If we just type, um, we want to take the train back to Oxford. So train back to Oxford and then next. And then we can just write whatever it is. And then once you finish this task, then you can just tick it and it will just not only tick the box, but also cross it out. And I just think that that's so aesthetic. Moving on to the calendar, call it monthly planning, but 
essentially it does the same job as like a paper calendar would. This is probably my favorite thing about Notion. If I'm just like working on my computer, I just always keep the calendar tab open. The left tab would just be Notion and like my calendar. This is probably the thing that I had to invest the most time figuring out how to do. But now that I've invested that time, it's now become my favorite thing. Let's write something like 2024. One thing about the calendar is that I find that the months just like keep going. There's no like set first month and last month. But I think 2024 should be a separate entire calendar database to the 2023 one. Let's add an icon. What would be a good icon? Let's do the hands icon because I don't know, I just feel like I really want to manifest a really good 2024. And then if we add a cover, I actually really like that design, but let's look at Unsplash. What are we feeling for 2024? Let's type in graduation, <laughs> because if that doesn't happen in 2024, it would have gone really wrong. I like the look of this one. I love how it's the girl and then the people at the back. And then we're going to look at this add new section and I'm going to like add a new table. These are some like suggestions that they gave, but for now let's create a new database. And this is like my all time favorite thing about Notion. You add in, say we wanted to put in New Year's Day. And then um, we can find a date. So we want the date property and then let's put that next to it. You can add some tags. So tags would be like university, personal, or whatever really like job. In order to go from the table format to the calendar format that we're looking for, we just add another view. So for this view, we can do like other things, but I love the calendar. Then as you can see, the New Year's Day is already there. And if we want to add something like the cruise that we're going on, I'm so excited. This is going over a few days. So we're going to add an end date and then starting on Friday and then ending on 5th. And then that would also be in our calendar. One thing that took me a while to figure out, but saves a lot of time now, is that if I wanted to amend this day, then we can just drag it straight from the calendar view instead of going back to the table. So that's like a summary on how I do my weekly and monthly planning. I feel like I'm constantly having to juggle so many things like tutoring, university work, content creation on both like UK and Chinese social medias applications so important as a student to be able to figure out these systems to help you manage your busy life and also balance like downtime spending time with family and friends moving on to revision planning i'm going to show you guys like something that i just took out of the archive section but this was how i planned my exam revision for second year the a2 metric spaces and complex analysis i'm like, pretty sure that i did this for all of my modules but i'm not sure where all of them have gone it's been a while but this was one of my modules for last year, Metric Spaces and Complex Analysis. It was one of the hardest, I feel like. This was the complex analysis part. We had, I basically summarised the names of each of the sections. And then these were directly copied and pasted from the synopsis that Oxford provides for the exam, which was useful. I tried not to overcomplicate this, but I just did like the confidence rating and then also the number of times I reviewed it. Conveniently, Conformal Maps doesn't have a confidence rating. So as you can see, this is a multi-select section, one star, two stars. I'm going to give it that part of the exam really badly. So I'm going to be really negative and give it a one star. I put the number of reviews as like a number setting. So you can just go in and type like the number of times you reviewed it. I did this for all of my exam planning since I discovered Notion. I'm going to show you an example of how I go about writing my notes on Notion. Put this in the maths notes section. I'm going to go in here and then I set this up earlier and then we're going to embed a sub page inside this page. Let's do some notes on linear regression using R. And then we're going to just do an empty page for now and just look up some notes linear regression using r I usually like to start off with just keeping a record of whatever website i've just looked at it's not quite linear but it just looks good since we're doing like regression and then under there we're going to start making some notes what is linear regression and then under there we can start with our notes 
and I just love how good everything looks. Like, can we just take a moment to appreciate how good this page of notes is already looking? Whereas if I was like working on Word or something, it would take me so long to make the notes look this good. My other favorite thing about using Notion to take notes is the toggle function. If after reading this passage, we wanted to test our knowledge, we can write, for example, the LM function in R. And then inside of here, we can copy this entire section so that then that fits nicely inside the toggle and then we can close it if we want to like test ourselves. I feel like this would look better bold so we'll put that in bold. One really cool thing is this Q&A feature. For example on this section of the notes it's about kind of model fit and introduces something called the R squared. I decided to ask Notion Q&A to essentially tell me all the information I have in this set of notes about the R squared. And it just provided me with this really clear summary, very concise about exactly what I asked. At this point, we could also ask follow-up questions. So if I wanted to clarify something like, so does that mean that the higher R squared number means a better model fit? And AI would just let me know. I love this Q&A because it is completely based on your own notes. So it perfectly matches the exact thing that you're learning about. Because this was in like an embedded page, we can go back to the main page and it would just be here nicely. And you can also, Divide this notes using like subheadings as you like and then also in sections and everything just looks so good when it's compiled together. Finally, probably most excitingly, since we've just started 2024, this is how I set all of my goals using Notion. This was the page that I made, oh title 2023, so I'll just change this into like annual review and goal setting. Let's look at the self-reflection questions template. This was a page of questions that I sourced from like various different places but I just found the ones that I feel like resonated the most with me and I just compiled all of them, rewrote some of them. I just thought that I would use this set of questions for the near future at least and that way I can just kind of compare my progress year on year. If we copy this page duplicate and then we can name this self-reflections questions 2024 I've already set this up so that we have toggles so we can open the one that we're most interested in and then like answer them. Let's see. What accomplishments am I most proud of this year? I'm gonna say reaching 100k on YouTube, starting Xiao Hong Shu and Dou Yim. These are like the Chinese social medias and it was kind of spontaneous of me to start them. I'm kind of proud that I did. Starting Xiao Hong Shu and Dou Yim and reaching like nearly 120k combined followers in the first three months. Securing a return offer for trading after my spring week. What else? A better exam result in second year than first year. I won't do like all of them right now because I feel like that would be kind of boring you guys just like staring at me typing these out. What are three things I want to achieve this coming year? That's like the OG goal setting question. I'm gonna make my first thing get a 2-1 overall for my degree and I might add in first class dissertation but I'm not gonna be too upset if I don't get that honestly. Number two Mm, I have like plans for after my degree that I kind of feel like I don't want to go into for this video so I'm gonna put xxx there but you guys will find out very soon I promise and then number three I'm gonna say reach 100k on Xiao Hong Shu and Dou Yin let's just hide these toggles one relatively new feature of Notion is the Notion AI. It's something that's on my to-do list to explore further in 2024 and fully be able to take advantage of. But a few things that I've already figured out is, for example, if you're feeling like very uninspired about writing something, then you can ask Notion AI to help you plan slash just give you some ideas of what to write. For example, going along with the New Year's resolution theme, I asked Notion AI to give me some ideas on potential New Year's resolutions if I don't feel like I have enough. I love the um, read a new book every month. I actually think that's a good idea realistic and something that I just definitely don't do enough. Another feature that I love is the spelling and grammar checker. It means that if you're writing something kind of official like an admissions essay or something that you're going to hand in, you can just fully do that in Notion and you no 
longer need to rely on word to kind of be your reference. For example, I just like tested something that I knew was wrong and Notion AI just picked that up perfectly. You can even ask Notion to do kind of generic day-to-day -day tasks that uh, would otherwise take up a lot of your time, such as writing emails and even making things like to-do lists. But yeah, I would definitely be exploring this further this year. Let me know if you want to see an update to see what I find most useful. If you're convinced by this video and you decide that you do want to put your life on Notion, this would be my advice for getting started. I would recommend getting started by using the tens of thousands of free Notion templates. You can like find literally everything on here. So I'm just going to type like New Year's. Mm, okay, let's see. I know, let's find a habit tracker. It's just duplicating into the Notion and then we can make all of the edits, customize this exactly how we'd like. It is such a good way of getting started and then slowly you can like start to build your own Notion pages or you can just carry on using the templates like they're great. I hope that that's given you guys some ideas but remember Notion is just so easy to adapt and your life is the thing that's most important and just make sure that whatever pages that you're making just closely represent the things that are important to you, the goals that you want to achieve, your, your dreams for the new year. If you want to collaborate with like family, friends or like co-workers, you can share your notion and then collaborate all in one place. But if you also want to work on your own, then that's completely fine. That's what I do. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video if you did, subscribe. Let me know what you'd be interested in seeing next. Make sure to bring your goals to life this year with Notion. You can get started entirely for free at this link and it will also be in the description box down below.